Hi, I'm Andrew Andrus. I'm the Hartford Boys and Girls Varsity Tennis Coach at Hartford Union High School. I think the most profound impact that it has is it gives them a sense of purpose and a sense of commitment. Uh, students look forward to their sport and that sort of, in many cases, their identity that they gravitate towards as a high school athlete. I think it's also important that they, uh, they develop a lot of life skills, a lot of confidence, a lot of responsibility. Um, then they deal with a lot of adversity through athletics as well. I think it's a huge commitment from the school and the community that shows the students that we value them and that uh, we are trying to give them the best opportunities and the best resources for them to be successful. And I think it also sort of shows to um, our, our school and our community and our parents, it shows them that we want what's best for them and we want to, we want to get the best out of them. And I think that um, sort of that adage of look good, feel good, uh, when the facilities are top notch, it gives students a little more pride in their school and a little more willingness and, and desire to compete and to try to do their best to sort of live up to the standards that we expect of them. Well, our facilities, we really, I think in the, the whole school, have upgraded the, the school in its aesthetics and its, its usefulness, but the, uh, the athletic facilities have um, maybe taken a back seat for a while and um, some of them have been upgraded internally here obviously with our weight room and the, the two gyms but outside our, our football stadium soccer field um, in my line of work certainly the, the tennis courts are in dire need of, of upgrading and I think that uh, just to sort of keep track and, and keep uh, a level playing field, if you will, no pun intended, uh, with the other schools. A lot of the schools in our conference uh, have very top-notch facilities, and so in order to compete with those high-level teams, the high-level facilities sort of are a necessity as well. From a tennis coach perspective, our courts are going to probably become not only unplayable, but just downright dangerous. Um, they have cracks in them. We have some lines that have been painted over to deal with the cracks. And I would liken that to we wouldn't play a football game with only one goal post. We wouldn't have a, a basketball game where we didn't have a floorboard in place on the playing court. Um, we, wouldn't, uh, we wouldn't ask our basketball team to practice. Um, you think of the number of basketball hoops that there are in the gym. There's not just the two for the game. There's other uh, basketball hoops that they shoot at, that they have the numbers, we have two gyms for them. Um, so they have the resources and the courts to do that. And not having an upgrade in the facility um, is detrimental to the fact that we have a growing uh, love for the game of tennis. We had uh, 30 kids out for middle school tennis this year. Plus we routinely have over 60 girls. Uh, so. There are times this year where we had 90 kids on the court and that's just, that's not, it's not functional. It puts a lot of uh, difficulty for a lot of players. So not having new facilities and some improvement um, does put a, us at a competitive disadvantage. And again, it goes back to what I said before. It shows our kids that, well, money is more important and money is important. It's a huge commitment and huge expense. But I think when we put that money into our kids, we're doing something that is benefiting them for the long term and also helping our school.